Nike, you know, they've been doing their thing. My beef with this box was, as you can see, it looked like somebody tried to get up in my box, man. Or maybe the you. What's good? It's your boy, Coach T, and welcome back to the Mud Talk Radio channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because if you're into fashion, sports, life, and culture, then you're into this channel. Let's go. So I'm back again today with another video, man. And I'm going to tell you like this, man. This is a video I really should have put out a few days ago, maybe even last week. But I'm going to be honest, we was kind of waiting on another pair to come in. But neither here nor there. Today is the day. I got another sneaker review for you. Let's get right into it. Before we do any of that, man, shout out to all the new subs, man. I appreciate everybody for tapping in with the channel. We walking down 1,000 subscribers right now. So if you're watching this video, hit that subscribe button, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a family member to pull up on this channel and show some love. All right, man, so I got a Jordan 1 that I've been waiting to bring to the channel, but you know what? We gonna go ahead and bring it to the channel. So this pair, man, we actually doubled up on this pair and it happened on accident. So this is the first time in a while I actually asked my son to enter a raffle. I asked my wife to enter a raffle and I entered a raffle. Cause in most cases I typically enter a raffle myself and that's it. Unlike a lot of people, I don't have like multiple accounts and things like that. But if I do really, really want to get a shoe, I'll ask my wife to enter. I'll ask my son to enter. Sometimes I ask my daughter. She really don't really be wanting to do it. My wife don't be wanting to do it either. But lately she been, she been on board. You know what I'm saying? She really the goat for real. You know, she be behind the camera. You know, them scenes at the beginning of the video where I be, you know, arguing. She be catching all that little stuff, man. So shout out to the wife. She entered. So she hit on the raffle. I hit on the raffle. And so we ended up with two pairs. Hers, for whatever reason, has not been shipped yet. Or oh, matter of fact, it got shipped yesterday. Let me know if you guys hit on these shoes, did anybody else get a delay in their shipment? Because my pair came pretty quick. But on the other hand, my wife's pair is not here yet. So we're gonna bring you one pair. I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but we're not gonna be able to get to that today. So we're just gonna review one pair. Got the box right here, man. And you already know, man, Nike, you know, they've been doing their thing. My beef with this box was, as you can see, it looked like somebody tried to get up in my box, man. Or maybe the UPS driver. Did this come UPS? Or I think FedEx, maybe. FedEx, somebody like they tried to get in the box, bro. They, they, it was unsuccessful. It didn't happen on my porch because we was here when the pack got delivered. But let's get into the box. All right, so it's a pull tab. We ain't gonna struggle with this today because guess what? You about to watch your boy be careful with opening the box. Look, I'm careful. I got it. Smooth, you know what I'm saying? All right, so boom. You see it, man. Yes, sir. That's a black and gold Jordan 1 box, man. The box actually fire, man. We don't get into boxes like that, but maybe because the light's hitting it and it look all, you know, bright and shiny, man. That's kind of dope. Bruh, what happened? So the box reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. The colors are black, metallic gold, and palomino. You know what's in this box, man. Let's stop playing. Top is off of the box. Got standard paper. Yeah, uh-huh. This smell kind of strong too. Kind of reminded me of that one review I did where the box smelled. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. What is that talking about right there? You got the Jordan 1 OG High Palomino, man. Initial reaction? Not a bad shoe, for real. My initial reaction is that this shoe is fire, man. Like, I'm not even gonna hold back. Um, for those of you who know me, uh, you may know that I really, really like the Air Jordan 1 Mocha. I did not hit on that shoe for retail. I actually paid a ridiculous amount for that shoe um, on the aftermarket, but I'm super happy I was able to get it. And it was one of my, and still is probably my favorite pair of Jordan 1s that I've ever had. 
next to my shattered backboard 2.0s i think i would say my mochas are my number one shoe just because you can you can date night them joints you can you can uh style them in so many different ways and that colorway is just so it's just so fly man you know what i'm saying so um a lot of people have been comparing this one to the jordan one mocha and a lot of people are, are kind of uh not giving this shoe its credit because they're comparing it to the mocha i'm gonna say this shoe by itself not thinking about my mocha it's fire it's fire look look at it man look at the material on that man quality leather you know the number one thing that i've heard people say is that on the tongue right here people don't like uh that tab right there that that nike how they did it in gold but you know what if that's the smallest thing with this shoe that people are complaining about then look this shoe is overall fire man like you can wear this any kind of way you want man look at that baby man all right so we're going to pull out the second shoe real quick and we're just going to do a comparison man because i always like to look at my shoes man side by side just to see if there's any you know defects any issues anything that's popping up on the shoe you know quality control but overall just looking at this shoe i'm not really seeing too many yeah i ain't seeing too many issues man i ain't seeing too many issues at all uh, the materials look great shoe strings are great um there's not an alternate pair of laces though i did see a couple of lace swaps being done on these shoes i probably won't do a lace swap i don't think it's necessary i think it's fire the way it comes and that's how i'm a rock hey man so let's get into pricing of this shoe as you know the jordan ones are now 180 dollars man so that's what i paid retail for this shoe i hit on the sneakers app which i found out a lot of people hit on sneakers that day apparently there was a lot of pairs available so i'm extremely happy because with the sneaker market being down and resellers not really getting off the way they used to it's making it easier for people to just get shoes that really really want shoes man so if you hit on the uh the jordan one palominos let me know my wife hit on them i hit on them man we doubled up in the crib man for 180 bucks plus tax you can own you a pair of the jordan one og high palomino and this is a size 12 by the way my personal size all right let's get into the rating of this shoe y'all heard the excitement in my voice at the beginning of this video and it's been pretty consistent throughout this video i'm excited about this pair and my overall rating of the jordan one palomino i'm gonna go nine out of ten matter of fact 9.5 out of 10 for the jordan one palomino they do remind me of my mochas but i do uh want to admit that they're possibly my favorite pickup this year that's a controversial statement drop it in the comment section on what you feel about that man but i'm thinking this is one of my best pickups this year i really love the way the shoes look i cannot wait to style these shoes and uh i think i'm gonna do a, a styling video what you think baby we're gonna do that you got time for that probably not <laughs> well yeah i'm gonna hopefully bring y'all a styling video man but yeah 9.5 out of 10 for the jordan one palomino let's go so you got the unboxing live right here on the video with my beat up box inside and out. I gave you styling tips, I gave you the price, and I gave you my overall rating on this shoe. Next thing I need you to do, man, is hit that subscribe button, man. Go to the link in the comment, in the description box, not the comment section, but the link in the description box, and go and check out rawmelonclothing.com. Make sure you tap in with me on Instagram. Let's connect, let's talk about sports, fashion, life, and culture outside of YouTube. I would love to connect with you guys, but you know the saying, man. Love is free, hate costs. You've been watching Mud Talk with your boy Coach T. I'm out. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, hit that post uh, notification. Oh yeah, you yeah. heard it first and foremost. Go hit the like, go subscribe, go all that. All that, Just man. Like that.